Remember when I said my house was starting to smell like me? Yeah, well, now it's just starting to smell pretty strongly of fish. And you can stop writing that comment right now because... No, that's not the same thing. Uh, but I think it's time to finally take this AFK fish farm down. Uh, apparently some people think it's kind of cheaty. Um, which I don't really get very much because they nerfed it pretty strongly. Uh, there's a lot cheaper stuff in the game that uh, a lot of people do. You know, like, um, for example, I would never... I don't know what I'm trying to get here. Uh, I would never use like the TNT duping glitch because uh, I think uh, that's kind of um, I don't know it duplicating anything is kind of like why wouldn't you just play in creative mode if you're gonna duplicate stuff you know like um, but I guess like AFK farms can kind of be seen as the same way so I get that uh, anyway <laughs> I have no use for basically any of this uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy that. Um, yeah, if anything, I'd probably just want the chest, but whatever. Maybe the bottles. Uh, I don't really care. Um, but rest in peace to the AFK fish farm. It served us well. I've been working on the shape of the big random spike coming out of the water not to be confused with the small random spike coming out of the water a pretty easy mistake to make but try not to make it um yeah i don't know <laughs> it's kind of cool i think it's too tall um it's definitely way too gray I uh, started to work in some uh, texture with the mossy cobblestone down here uh, and I realized that um, it, it helps quite a bit but I think it still needs more so I'm um, maybe gonna mix some of the like uh, lesser used stone variants into this as well uh, just so it's not so massive and gray um, but I think the the walls have been helping quite a bit to give it a sort of uh, rocky kind of craggy looking shape as well um, which it was um, kind of missing before I added those it looked way too clean um, yeah, I don't know. The other thing is it's it's just a little bit too tall. I, I think I'm probably going to have to shave it down to maybe about, like, right here or so. Um, I think I went just a little bit too crazy with the height, uh, and that's um, fair enough because I've never really built anything like this before. I'm not super sure how it's uh, supposed to look, so I'm kind of just... Uh, carving it out as I go but yeah so far not too bad anyway so last time things got kind of out of hand uh, and I didn't really have a chance to check out that new item that uh, kind of shocked me I wasn't uh, really expecting to find this armor trim um, but the first thing I want to do before I uh, demonstrate what it is because I've kind of been looking into it a little bit off camera uh, just to make sure I don't mess anything up um, is to duplicate it uh, once you have one you can actually clone them um, so first of all I need to make a smithing table uh, and then you can actually craft these uh, using the item itself and it gives you two of them so it's um, effectively kind of a way to clone it if you have item or if you have diamonds and a, another item 
um, and that item changes depending on uh, the different trim that you can find because there's different varieties of these. Um, and I, I must have found another one at some point without really registering it in my mind because it's showing up in my crafting table as well, which means I um, must have grabbed one of these at some point, uh, but it's definitely not in any of my storage areas, so I I'm kind of confused about that. Um, maybe I'll um, stumble across it at some point, but until now that's just a uh, a big question mark as to why is that that's there um, but I'm gonna duplicate this one real quick so an armor trim is gonna be kinda what it sounds like um, and I sorta thought it might be this uh, last time but I didn't really mention that um, let's see what are you okay so that goes there that goes there and I think this would go here yeah, uh, that's going to be cool. Um, so using different, uh, uh, I guess, ores or uh, crystals, um, different items in the game uh, can give you different colors. Uh, but you can use this to uh, give your armor a little bit more decoration, uh, which is super cool. Oh man, I really like how that looks, the purple on the the blue. Um, I was just complaining about how lame I thought this diamond armor looked <laughs> and I'm uh, never really wearing it because of that, uh, especially when I uh, record because I uh, kind of think it kills the vibe, but uh, now that I have these I'm uh, kind of excited to wear armor. I don't know. I want to seek out all the different ones. I think there's a bunch uh, and you can find them in different structures. Oh man, snazzy new look. <laughs> uh, this looks really awesome. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. Uh, so um, this is what I've been working on for a few weeks now. I uh, kind of struggle to say for a few weeks because it's been sort of something I've been working off on and off on um, and that's just because I've been super busy with work so I haven't had a whole lot of time to record any uh, clips with uh, me talking or anything like that um, mostly just a bunch of really short clips that I'm probably gonna edit into a montage that uh, you've probably already seen because I uh, I think I'm gonna check it at like the beginning of the episode um, and that's just because I've I've only really been working on this in like 10 to 15 minute increments at a time I really uh, haven't consistently been playing the game too much uh, but this is the sewer layer I've been hinting at building this for, um, actually since the first episode. I uh, said a few parts ago that there was a hint uh, towards my quote-unquote mega base in the title, and uh, this was what I was hinting at. Uh, if you take the first letter of every title in the series so far, one through nine, uh, you're gonna get mm, um, and that's pretty much irrelevant. But if you take the first letter in every subtitle, uh, it's gonna spell out sewer layer. Um, so that's the hint. <laughs> this is a sewer layer, um, and uh, if you didn't already catch the reference, it's uh, at least. Uh, initially going to be styled after the the Ninja Turtles sewer layer, uh, specifically from the 1980s show, um, and I'll go show it off in just a second. But um, yeah, I've been uh, kind of working on this episode for quite a while. Uh, I think when I started recording clips for it, uh, I had just posted like the fifth or sixth part of this series, and uh, now all, all nine parts have been up for like a week or two. Yeah, and so the idea is eventually I uh, want to move out away from 
the starter island um, and I guess it would be uh, kind of relevant to mention that this is located um, like pretty much directly below the starter island at around Y uh, 7-ish um, so eventually I'm gonna do stuff away from the spawn location um, you know build other bases and make farms and stuff and other biomes um, I think that's pretty common to do in your Minecraft world um, but a lot of people will connect that stuff through the nether usually um, because it's a lot smaller so you can travel distance uh, faster and I still might do that as well but I think it'd be pretty cool if I uh, eventually connect everything that I do in this world uh, through a massive massive sewer system uh, so even though this is kind of small right now, um, it's eventually going to be a pretty big project. Um, but I've just been trying to make this uh, look pretty accurate to the, the cartoon um, for a few weeks. Uh, just kind of, like I said, in shorter sessions. Um, this is... Uh, not supposed to be here still. I just thought it was kind of cool that there is naturally generating coal on deep slate. I guess this is pretty rare, so I kept it here, and I've just been uh, keeping a bunch of stone that I've mined up here because I don't really know where else to keep it. Um, so the first room is just kind of uh, the dojo training area. Um can also be kind of considered a living space or a, a transitional room. Uh, so this goes to the outside. I still have some parts of the base that I haven't built quite yet, um, so I haven't made uh, Donatello's laboratory um, or uh, Splinter's, Master Splinter's room, um, and I'm thinking that's probably going to go like right here. Um, but then in here we got the four turtle rooms. I tried to color code them the best I could. Um, this is obviously Raphael uh, with uh, sort of a punching bag type thing. Uh, got the smithing table in here because that seemed like the best place to put it. Uh, kind of a bench press I don't know <laughs> um, this is my own design I thought it came out kinda cool but maybe you don't like it I don't know you tell me over here we got Donatello's room um, there's a machine cause he does them I also got an enchantment setup, um, and it is a full level 30 setup. I tried to only uh, put the purple books in these chiseled shelves just so you kind of get more of a impression of purple when you're in here. Um, just just subtle things. Uh, same thing with. Leonardo's bedroom. Uh, this one's a little bit simpler because I feel like he would uh, follow sort of a feng shui principle when designing his room. This banner is pretty cool. I saw this design uh, online and I did my best to replicate it. Uh, it's made primarily using the brick texture and then you have to cross out certain parts so that it looks more like a Japanese wall scroll. Uh, pretty cool effect. And in uh, my own room, or Michelangelo's,
Angelo's room. Uh, this one's obviously going to be the messiest. Uh, we got pizza thrown around everywhere that's not quite finished. Um, this street lamp design that's uh, pretty cool. This was supposed to be like a skateboard hanging from the wall. I don't know. It's kind of a stretch, but you can see it. Kind of, right? I don't know. Um, there's a tiny little pizza oven, so you can make your own pan pizzas uh, from bed, which is uh, kind of a Michelangelo thing to do. Uh, and it also has a secret trap door to the caves below, uh, which right now are mostly just flooded, so it's not really worth going down here at the moment. Over here we have the main living area, which is um, where you get to see most of the time in the show. I actually think that these rooms are supposed to be um, coming from right here instead. I was watching an episode the other day um, with my morning coffee before work and uh, yeah <laughs> the the rooms in the background were coming from this direction so I don't know if it changes or what made me feel like it was uh, over here originally when I was designing everything but I think I got it wrong um, so oops Oh well, it's not really a big deal. Uh, this room, uh, you can see I kind of redid some of the paintings for. Um, and I feel pretty comfortable doing that because I'm keeping this a single player experience. So I'm not really afraid to mess around with some of the textures. Um, it's my own personal preference that I keep things mostly vanilla, but if there's like a certain texture that I think would be pretty cool to use and I can't quite access it with the vanilla game, I'm not too scared to just throw it in there, replace a file, if I have to. Um, so I did that with a few paintings. This one I just pulled from online, I took a video and cut up some of the frames and uh, resized it into uh, one of the larger paintings so that it could make an animated TV. Uh, and the painting effect's pretty cool. I actually don't really like how the TV turned out. I might redesign it. It's, um, I don't know. It's okay. It's just not my favorite. Uh, it's got little knobs that you can turn the channel and volume I guess um, then this stop sign painting I actually pulled from the gateway season 7 texture pack um, I didn't really realize but uh, for whatever reason you can't use transparency on paintings anymore uh, so I had to edit it kind of I turned like all the transparent pixels on it a shade of white uh, and made it more square to kind of fit in with Minecraft I guess I don't know the original texture was kind of trying to mimic like the uh, octagonal shape of a stop sign uh, and then we have a chill coffee table couch set up over here with some pizza and some coffee or hot cocoa or something this was another painting in the 80s show they have this like weird wall hanging of this like three four headed dragon lemon looking thing i don't know it's really weird and i could not find for the life of me an image of it just straight up to uh, pull a texture from and resize so i uh free handed this to the best of my ability um and it actually turned out pretty cool. I know some people might think it's kind of weird that I'm retexturing the paintings when you can uh, realistically do the same thing in the vanilla game using 
maps and item frames, but uh, that does take a long time to do, and that's not necessarily the problem. Uh, I think the bigger issue is that you just need to like dedicate a huge physical area of your world to making the painting itself, um, and it's usually pretty ugly like on a wall it looks cool but like physically in the world it's massive and it looks uh absolutely hideous unless you see it from straight above and like way far away um and so usually i like to do that way out in the ocean um and we have a lot of that in this world especially right next to spawn I don't know. I still think it's kind of a waste of time and energy and space. I'd rather do other things with that area. And uh, I, like I said, I'm not afraid to mess around with some of the textures. So this is a cool design I found online for like a mirror uh, using banners. Uh, and then the wall scroll again. This is another painting that I designed. Uh, freehand. I tried my best to make it say one way in the scale. I don't know. You tell me if I succeeded, but <laughs> uh, every time I pass by it, I keep thinking it's like, oh why, <laughs> why oh why, with like an e at the end or a c or something. I don't know. Oak why, ok why. Um, yeah, then got some pipes up above, uh, some of them are still dripping, which is kind of a cool effect. Uh, one of these has a clock on it, it's kind of a meter type thing, um, and that lets me see what time of the day it is. Um, while I'm down here, so that's pretty cool. This was supposed to be like a pull-up bar, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't really like it, but <laughs> uh, it might stay. I might take it down. I don't know. Um, I've just been keeping this guy tied up for harvesting eggs, but uh, it's not really necessary to do that anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and let him choose if he wants to crash here or not. Um, this was supposed to be an arcade machine. It's not the best design. I kind of imagine like these uh, fence gates or like a, a handle controller type thing. Um, and it's like some sort of shooting game. Uh, I want to make it functional, so I started to do that. I'm thinking maybe I could put like a target block way in the back and uh, make it so if you hit it dead on, there's like three lights here that light up all the way. If you're kind of off, maybe only two light up. If you're way off, only one. Then over here, we got the kitchen, which I, again, tried to make pretty accurate. Uh, I did my best. Some things I changed up just to make them look nicer in Minecraft, or just because I thought they might look nicer in general. Um... There's more piping going throughout the area. Another wall scroll. This one's kind of stained with like cheese or grease because uh, we do a lot of cooking, especially over in the pizza oven. I have like storage kind of subtly hidden everywhere, whether it be like in the oven or under the sink shelves above um, got like a pizza cutter 
these looms work really nice as like a drain um, and then obviously they're still accessible so you can use them um, but yeah I like the way this looks uh, quite a bit I thought this was one of the cooler features um, oh yeah we got the microwave uh, it's pretty noisy you're probably already thinking that to yourself uh, and the reason for that is that it's actually um, a functional chicken cooker so you can see the setup back here um, I have a cow and a sheep kind of blocking the view right now but above these hoppers uh, there's just like a bunch of adult fully grown chicken uh, that I've been hatching up above um, and so every you know few seconds they'll lay eggs uh, and they'll be caught in these hoppers sometimes they hatch into baby chickens uh, so right now all these uh, babies are short enough that they won't burn up in this lava but uh, when they do grow up they come tall enough to burn up so this is where all the chicken ends up sometimes it doesn't get fully cooked but uh, that's what the pizza ovens for so if we ever get a raw piece we can just toss it in here and uh, no big deal the last thing it's kind of cool I started making a secret room. It's uh, pretty tiny so far, but kind of neat. Um, nothing too fancy, just like a hopper below one of these blocks um, that. feeds into an item vomiter uh, right onto a pressure plate so uh, for the next five minutes this is going to be open uh, just until the block on the pressure plate despawns and this is kind of the wiring back here um, there's some more down below but I don't really feel like digging that out right now oh heck I'm nice, I might as well. Um, yeah, this is the wiring down below. Um, and then the pressure plate's just right below this, so the comparator is checking for uh, any blocks in here. Obviously they don't last very long if they are. Uh, how am I gonna get out of here now? Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Well, it's the last time I do anything for you guys. That sucked. And on that note, I think that's where I'm going to call it for today's episode. Uh, it's running kind of long again. That tour took a little bit longer than I expected it to. Uh, probably still because I'm just sort of nervous talking to um, the screen I feel like I'm still talking a lot slower than I really mean to I kind of just need to get out what I mean to say more um, but that's okay that's uh, that's all part of practicing it right uh, I wanted to throw in this clip here at the end because I, I don't know if anybody's even watching this far or not but um it's uh, it's sort of a reoccurring theme that I complain about how many Endermen are spawning in this map for whatever reason. It's like way more than I've ever experienced before, like playing this game for however long. Um, and uh, I like just walked over to the the jungle right next to my base a few days ago in like broad daylight, and I'm not even kidding. There's got to be like what like seven or eight Endermen popping around here. 
in the middle of the day, like <laughs> all in this jungle. I have no clue why. It's bizarre. Uh, the only thing I can think of maybe is like, like somehow they're like popping within the almost border of my render distance, and I move out of the way just barely, and that somehow like freezes them in a time lock, and maybe that's happening to like a bunch of them at the same time. I have no idea. Anyway, on that note, um, thanks for watching this far if you have uh, watched this far. And uh, if you've only watched some of the way, uh, thanks for doing that too. Uh, so yeah, um, until next time, have a good one.